October 7th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 121 and 122 from the Old Testament. I look up toward the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the Creator of heaven and earth. May He not allow your foot to slip. May your protector not sleep. Look, Israel's protector does not sleep or slumber. The Lord is your protector. The Lord is the shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day or the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all harm. He will protect your life. The Lord will protect you in all you do now and forevermore. I was glad because they said to me, We will go to the Lord's temple. Our feet are standing inside your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a city designed to accommodate an assembly. The tribes go up there, the tribes of the Lord, where it is required that Israel give thanks to the name of the Lord. Indeed, the leaders sit there on thrones and make legal decisions on the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love her prosper. May there be peace inside your defenses and prosperity inside your fortresses. For the sake of my brothers and my neighbors, I will say, may there be peace in you. For the sake of the temple of the Lord our God, I will pray for you to prosper. God, for uh, those of us who listen to contemporary Christian music, most of us have heard actually this first Psalm, Psalm 121. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, creator of heaven and earth. And we almost kind of sing it in our head as we listen to it. But this psalm was talking about that pilgrimage that they would take into Jerusalem. And it's something that we kind of don't understand, this this very long walk, laborious, uh, at times dangerous. We don't understand walking very well, especially here in the United States where we take cars and transportation to everything. Um, but very dirty and and dusty and uh, possibly painful for some people and almost like the trip is never ending and they're looking up at the hills wondering when when are they going to get there and thinking about where does our help come from who is going to make sure that we get to where it is that we're going ah the same person that made these mountains that i'm looking at the same person who made this earth i'm walking on the same person that made the sky i'm looking up at He'll help me. If he can make all those things, he'll help guide me. He'll make sure that I make it to the mountains, to Jerusalem, and to wherever I need to go in my life. And God, we, in our arrogant luxury, tend to not understand some of these psalms as well as we should, because we do have all the conveniences of the current age at our disposal being such a wealthy nation we just completely take it for granted and and we don't stop to pay attention enough to all the amazing things you've created and how we can completely trust you with the smallest things and the biggest things of our lives because if you our creator can create the earth can create the heavens can create the stars can create the little flowers that are growing outside which is baffling to me because it's freezing out there if you, our creator, can do all those things, including the amazing miracles of the fact that my body is working right now, how could you not come to my aid, come to my assistance, be my help as I go through any struggles in my life, whether they're momentary, momentary struggles with that, which at the time seem really big, or whether they're, they're lifetime struggles with certain situations, people, relationships, perhaps with work, um, sins that, that we seem to be too comfortable with, whatever it is, we know that we can call on you for that help. Just as, as the psalmist goes on to say, may he not allow your foot to slip. And God, I know that if you can keep, I know that if you can keep the earth and the sun and the rest of the universe in alignment and going day after century after a lifetime of endless lifetimes, holy cow I'm pretty sure you can keep my life going <laughs> and a lot more organized and better at the details than I ever could God I thank you for that protection um, 
not only the shade, but the light and the, the level ground that you put me on so many times when I've created something so unlevel in my life. Your, your consistent protection in my life is something I never want to take for granted. Thank you. In your son's name I pray. Amen.